Okay, so let's just imagine that you have a, a block of wood hanging on some strings so that it doesn't just zing around and fly anywhere when a bullet strikes it, right? And we fire a bullet into that block of wood. It sticks in the block of wood, and the, the block is going to ri- raise itself up some change in height like this. Now, I hope you understand that the faster that bullet goes in, by the way, the more massive it goes, right, uh, the higher this block of wood is going to swing, okay? We could use this to find the velocity of the bullet. In fact, this is called a ballistic pendulum, and this is how they found the velocity of bullets before we had high-speed electronics, right? Nowadays, if you want to find how fast your bullets are going, you go to a shooting range that has a tachometer, and you go bang, and it tells you, (laughs) okay, in feet per second, I think is what it is, right? Uh, But back in the day, they didn't have that, so they would fire a bullet into the block of wood. They'd mass the block before, they'd mass the block after, so they knew the mass of the bullet, right? Um, and then uh, they'd measure the height. And the way they measured the height I thought was clever, right, is that they'd stick behind this thing, they'd stick this, um, a big sheet of like glass, and they'd stick on that glass, they'd stick soot with a candle. And then off the side of this thing, they would have a, a little, uh, like a, I don't know, like a horse hair or something like that sticking off, right? And that horse hair would, would sketch this little path that would go whoop. And then they could measure that change in height like that, which I, I thought that was clever. Um, but now it's just an interesting physics problem, right? It's a, I don't know, it's one I've seen these problems on the test, so I'm going to teach it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to solve three different problems, right? The first problem is, uh, let's see, we got to divide up our space here. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Right. The first scenario is uh, we've got a bullet and block. Right, and then in the next scenario, we got bullets stuck in block. Right, so we got to figure out this velocity. Right, and then then we're gonna do we're gonna do the exciting thing where the the block swings up to some height. Right, okay. So I'm gonna go 0.012 times 351. Uh, the block isn't moving to begin with. Right, and that equals uh, let's see what is that combined mass? 3.215 plus 0.012. Seven two two three point two two seven times v. So let's figure out that v. So point zero. Whoops. We got to turn the calculator on. Point zero one two times three fifty one divided by three point two two seven. I get uh, the velocity is one point three zero. 5237 meters per second, right? All right, now, if we go from here to here, it's going to be a conservation of energy thing, right? So it goes from here to the block of wood has now has now risen, right? And changed shape, strangely, right? Okay. Okay, it's changed. It's, it's swung from being like this to being like up at some angle like that, right? Okay, so it's... It's got some height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, 1 fmv squared that we have here equals mgh. Okay, so that's all we can do, right? When things swing like that, the only way we can solve it is with energy. So we say kinetic energy equals potential energy, right? Uh, the masses do cancel so because uh, the mass doesn't change after the bullet sticks in it, right? So I can go 1 half, uh, 1.305237. Squared equals 9.81 times h. And we can solve for h. Okay, so uh, squared times 0.5 divided by 9.81. And I get that the h is 0.08683 meters. Right? That is... Uh, 8.68 centimeters. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. So it's it's a two-step problem. The first thing is when the bullet collides with the block, momentum is conserved. When the block swings up, energy is conserved. Okay. But by no means can you say that this kinetic energy all turns into potential energy. That just doesn't happen because... If you looked at that first example we did uh, in this unit, 
most of this energy is lost to heat, so it certainly doesn't go into potential energy. Anyway, um, yeah, there you go.